Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 5th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. And timing is fluid. What do we have for a message today? Ten of Swords reversed, first card out. Let's just get some cards go with it. See what it really means, right? The moon reversed. Somebody's getting a reality check. Truths being revealed. This is like light being shed with the moon reversed. Coming out of some sort of illusion, right? May have some recovery problems. You know, somebody is having a hard time recovering from something. They're suffering a lot. Maybe they've been in a state of illusion. Something has ended, but they probably didn't want to accept the truth. Maybe. But we're talking about, you know, I don't know if something is coming back from the dead either with the Ten of Swords reversed. But this is like, now we get another card. Six of Pentacles reversed. So this is a loss. It could be a rejection. It definitely could be a rejection, uh, an abuse of generosity. It's over. Not giving anymore. Not giving any. I wonder if somebody has been uh, not seeing something clearly, and now they do, and they're all done giving, right? They're all done. I'm not giving anymore. I'm not, I'm not giving anymore to this. Six of Cups reversed. Nine of Wands reversed. We have somebody here that is experiencing some challenges. I don't know if they have some addictions. You know, there could be, and addictions doesn't have to just be drugs. Okay, I feel like there is some addictions here that are costing somebody. You know, it could be, it could be materialism. It could be, uh, spending money on clothes it's or not saving any money there's some sort of financial loss with the six of pentacles reverse and it's extremely challenging so somebody is ex is experiencing some serious challenges financially um there's some sort of greed here i believe or there's there's unfair treatment that we have somebody we have two sixes reversed as well that's not going in the right direction um, extremely, extremely challenging times, really suffering, facing the reality. I want somebody maybe getting a reality check. I don't know if they've overspent or they've given too much. And I mean, the Six of Cups reversed is everything changes. Nothing stays the same. It's like leaving the past behind. Somebody has repeating, been be, repeating past mistakes. Now it's like they're suffering because they keep repeating the past mistakes. They've been clinging to the past, doing the same things over and over and over again. Now they're experiencing some serious challenges. We may even have somebody here that is angry with the Nine of Wands reversed. They're very, very angry with what, what life has dealt them. But with the Ten of Swords reverse, it's like you caused your own suffering. You made your bed. Now you need to lie on it. You know, the, the, the moon card is lies. So I wonder if somebody's been lying. I, I want to bring up lies. So I wonder if somebody has been lying about something and it comes to the surface, you know. 
and they and, and they get rejected because their lies come to the surface. Nine of Cups, Reverse, going overboard. Definitely somebody has been going overboard. They've been overindulging. This is wishing I never would have engaged in that. You know, this is a lack of inner happiness. Somebody is, is probably, they've probably been wishing for something to come back that has already left it's already it's already over they've been wishing for something to come back that has already left but it's too late it's too late this is like strings attached with the six of pentacles reversed we have somebody here that um is some sort of abuse as well an abuse going overboard you know somebody has abused their the generosity they've abused or they've abused the gift or they've abused what they got you know and they're going overboard somebody is going overboard they're going a little bit too far and they're going to be experiencing more challenges because of it we have somebody here that is definitely repeating negative patterns they keep map patterns that they've done they probably you know since they were a child or since they were young and it's like they just keep on hiding the facts hiding the truth maybe with some sort of addiction you know it could definitely be food or drinking or alcohol or drugs or spending there's gonna be uh you know suffering and there's consequences right this is not going in the right direction we have somebody here that needs to obviously stop they need to stop before you know they get themselves in too deep I, and I feel like they're already in too deep something about a nightmare this is a nightmare you know with the nine of cups reverse and the moon reverse those are both this is a nightmare it's a nightmare I wish I never would have done this I wish I never would have done this Two of Pentacles. There's definitely some financial struggles here. We have somebody here that is trying to find balance, you know. They've probably made some financial <clears throat> decisions that were not very practical. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. It's like they wanted too much, they did too much, and now there's a now there's like a reality check we definitely somebody is definitely getting a reality check <clears throat> excuse me it's interesting it's very interesting because I was gonna start this reading out with everybody wants my money everybody wants my money everybody's asking for the Queen of Pentacles for her money so I was wondering you know if that was part of the reading yesterday because we did have the, the Knight of Pentacles and we had the Queen of Pentacles and it was like holding on to value hold on to your money you better hold on to your money you know, it's like, I don't know, if somebody is after the money, you know, with the Six of Pentacles reversed, that could be theft, it's greed, it's, it's selfishness, right? But the Two of Pentacles is trying to find balance, there's ups and downs, there's need to be flexible, there's financial decisions that need to be made, and sometimes you can't have it all. You can't. The Nine of Cups upright is, you know, I want to have it all. But with the Nine of Cups reverse, you know, you got to be careful. As you know, as you've got to be careful with the moon as well. You got to be careful. All, all that glitters isn't gold. You know, what you see is not what you get. You got to be careful. You got to be careful with who you give to and, 
you know, I feel like, and I don't know if there's children here with the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups could represent children. You know, you got to be careful. You got to be careful with who you, you know, give to with that Six of Pentacles. Um, somebody is facing some serious life challenges with the Nine of Wands reversed. They're struggling. They are struggling. And I think, I think there's addictions here with the Nine of Cups reversed and the Moon reversed. We have somebody here that may be abusing their power or they're abusing somebody's generosity. You know, and this is somebody that is struggling financially. Be careful. Interesting. Very interesting. Be careful. Be careful. The Moon is be careful. Okay, be careful. I wonder if there's somebody here with the moon reversed next to the Ten of Swords that has a mental imbalance. I mean, that could be a mental situation too. We may have somebody here that, you know, may have some sort of mental imbalance. Ten of Pentacles reverse, total loss, financial ruin. This is a complete loss. Bad financial decisions. Somebody's making bad financial decisions. They are. They may have lost it all, you know, with the Ten of Coins reversed. Or they could lose it all. They could lose it all if they are, don't. Be careful. Be very, 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 very careful. There's some sort of overspending here, massive debts, a need to uh, be, be balanced, be balanced, you know, make sure that you're, you're planning, you know, be, be planning, you know, with that two of pentacles, be careful that you're not biting off more than you can chew. We have somebody here that may not be seeing things completely clearly. You know, they may be in a hurry and they're going to they're going to wish that they did not get themselves involved with a situation that they are getting themselves into. They could be dealing with somebody that doesn't have anything to offer financially as well with the 6 of pentacles. It'd be one-sidedness. You really need to be careful here. We definitely have somebody here that has some sort of addictions that cannot give. They cannot give financially. So, or they can't give to the household. They can't because of the Ten of Pentacles. That's like a household or the business or whatever it is. Somebody could be losing a job or losing a home or losing something of value because they can't pay because they made some poor financial decisions. And now you got to, it's just like, like I said, you made your bed. Now you need to lie on it, right? There is, I mean, the, the moon card reversed and the nine of cups reversed is a nightmare. And there's total loss here with the ten of pentacles reversed. That's the collapse of an empire, Right? And it, and, I, and it may have something to do with children, with the Six of Cups, or family members, you know. We also, and this, we, I mean, when I talk about addictions, there's so many different kinds of addictions. There's, there's sexual addictions as well. Somebody is struggling by the looks of things. They're going to be if they're not. They're going to wish they never got engaged. There could be a family feud here. They're smitten with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Somebody is hiding something. They are with the Moon card. Somebody has been hiding something. Maybe they've been hiding money. Or they've been hiding an addiction. Maybe they've been hiding an addiction. And, then the, and the addiction gets revealed. Because I want to keep bringing up addictions. There's also false impressions here. 
with the moon reverse next to the Ten of Pentacles. We have somebody here that is, it's like, they're, it may look good, like and we've talked about this, the moon is ruled by the shadow, but it, it's not what it seems. And it may be the home, it could be a body as well, but the, the business, the home or the business right next to the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Something looks good on the outside, but it is not what it seems once, you know, it's not. Once the lights come on on the inside, it is a mess. Very messy situation. We also have freedom from obligation here. Somebody may be freed from their obligations. There could be a change in residence. Somebody could be leaving very, very suddenly. You know, they, they may, they could, they could, definitely could. This is like with that Nine of Wands reverse and then the Six of Cups reverse next to the Ten of Swords reversed. Uh, this is like freedom, liberation, freedom from a painful situation. You're not giving me, you don't have anything to offer me. Leaving the home, seeing the truth, the reality check. Truth is being revealed. This truth it hurts. It hurts really, really, really bad. There's no going back. There's no going back after this. I feel like we had to have somebody here that made a poor decision and now they wish, they wish they never would have got involved. Somebody could, <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say sex without love. I don't know if that's the case and they get caught. We have somebody here that is uh, refusing to compromise. They sit on a high horse. They're very, very cocky and smug. This person thinks that they can get away with whatever, and they've been. It's been. It's because they've been wounded in the past so much that they that they. And maybe it's for. Some, I don't know what why I want to say sex addiction, but it's all. There could also be a drinking or drug or spending addiction here as well. This is definitely about addictions, addictions coming to the surface. It absolutely is. You made your bed, now you need to lie on it. You need to, you need to. And there's lies being exposed or truth being revealed, truth being seen with that moon card reversed. And this is some sort of nightmare. Four of Wands reverse. The party is over. This isn't any fun. There's nothing to look forward to. There's there's no happiness here. There definitely could be a change in a foundation. This is this is very unhappy. So this is an unhappy situation with the Four of Wands reverse. This is like uprooting. The party is over. This is extremely extremely messy. This may, this has to do with the home, you know? I do feel like it has to do with a home or a business. Something isn't working out. There's no support. There's no success. This is uh, not as good. It's like, this is not as good as I expected. It's like, I thought this was going to be happy. I thought this was going to lead to happiness, but it doesn't lead to happiness. There's definitely a family argument or family feud or a family situation with, with parents or children or it's a family situation. It's not working out. There's a lot of suffering. There's a lot of pain. There's discord. Somebody may be in a situation where it's just costing them too much money. It's this is costing me too much money. I wish that I would have never gotten myself into this. Breaking free is the Ten of Swords reverse. It's like liberation, freedom. I feel like we have somebody here that wants to be freed from an obligation, you know? 
they may not have uh, seeked advice or listened to any advice or they were disillusioned from the beginning. You know, they may have been disillusioned by somebody that said they had a lot of money or they would have thought this person was going to give and now they realize the truth that this person doesn't have anything to offer. Be very, 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 very careful. Okay, I really feel like it's already happened though. I think we have somebody here that is already in a situation where some truth is being revealed and it has to do with money. Okay, this is a complete loss. It is total ruin. Somebody has been living beyond their means. This is a disaster and maybe it's a financial disaster. I mean, there's no love in these cards. Not any. Somebody may have married for money or they got into a situation just for the roof, just for the money over their head. This is realizing it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. This is, it's not worth it. We have somebody here that is putting no effort. They're putting no effort into the home or they're putting no effort into the uh, business. You know, they're just not, they don't, they don't care. Maybe they just don't have the money to. It's like they don't have any money. They're not putting in much effort. And now whoever it is that they're dealing with is struggling to do it all by themselves. And it's causing discord. It's causing discord within among the other people. It could be addictions that are causing discord as well. You know, we may have a family member that has an addiction, you know, and it's killing the rest of the family, you know, it's killing everybody else at the same time. Extremely challenging situation. I wish that things were different. And that's what I hear. I wish, I wish that this would come to an end. I wished. And we have somebody here that is lacking the freedom that they desire because maybe there's codependency. That's an addiction as well. And they're, they're, you know, codependency because they're codependent on a situation. It's like they want freedom. They want, they want, uh, maybe they want financial freedom, but they also want freedom from this painful situation. But in order to have the freedom, they have to, decide to make a change with that two of pentacles you can't keep hanging on to what you're hanging on to if you want balance in your life you have to be flexible so i feel like we have somebody here that needs to make a choice if they want balance if they're gonna have to make a choice and it may require uprooting could even be selling you know like selling something selling a home or selling something that uh isn't working out I wish I never would have done this. I mean, that's what this looks like to me. And, it, and maybe it's it, it doesn't have to be the home or the business. It has to do with something. I feel like somebody has purchased something that they can't afford or they've had some total, total loss. Maybe they've already had the loss because of the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse is kind of in the past. But this could be overspending that is now coming to be dealt with. You know what I mean? This is like a complete massive debt, financial loss, total ruin. Uh, it's over. There's no going back. And now you need to uh, balance. You need to... Uh, somebody may need to buy a new home or build a new home or start over from scratch. You know, I think it comes from addictions. Addictions has have caused some sort of family issues, and I don't I don't know how that resonates with you. This is messy. It's very very messy. There's a need to clean things up. Two of Swords, Reverse, that's a painful, stressful decision. I feel like we have something, something is definitely being exposed that has been hidden. Somebody has been overindulging, either they've been overindulging with spending or they've been overindulging with uh, some other addiction. 
This is chronic. It's a chronic problem. It is chronic. And there's a need for balance. There's a need for uh, a rebalancing, balancing of the books or a rebalancing of the scales even. There's a need. Somebody may definitely be freed from their obligations. It's like you're out of control. I'm leaving. Goodbye. You know, with a Six of Cups reverse, that's like leaving it behind. Every, nothing stays the same. And I do see somebody wanting to escape or making an escape here. Making a change. Now the Two of, two of Swords reversed is, um, there's some sort of seeing the truth. Again with the Moon reversed, seeing the truth. Exposure. Something is being exposed. Has to do with the home. I don't know if somebody is even is leaving the home and they get caught. I don't know if this is a sexual situation because I want to say that too. Something is being exposed. It has to do with the home or the business and addictions. There's also somebody here that is very, very scared. They have a lot of fear, a lot of fear, fear of being exposed, fear of losing their home, fear of losing their business, fear of losing their stability. Extremely fearful. Knight of Wands reverse. That is negative repetitive patterns. Uh, out of control, reckless behavior. Could definitely have something to do with sexual energy. Doing something without thinking. Carelessness. We could have somebody here that... It could be a sudden departure here with the Knight of Wands reversed. I do feel like there is a sudden departure here. I do. I feel like we have somebody here that has overindulged. They've done something without thinking and it's being exposed and it may send them packing. We have strong control here. We have somebody here that likes to be in control. They need attention. They really, really, really need attention. This person is angry. They have a lot of anger. There's also some resentment here, and I know that I need to end this soon. There's some we have somebody here that is angry, that is resentful, that has some, and they may have that those mental health problems. They could be doing something spontaneous because they're very angry and upset. And I don't know if they're on drugs. And I know I just changed the story, but I think that you really need to be careful. Um, good luck. <laughs>